Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Sarah Michaels, and in this video, we are going to be talking about two SEO secrets that some gurus are still teaching that are actually going to harm your SEO. So if you hear anyone talking about these two secrets, you're going to want to absolutely run, okay? Because they're going to end up hurting your score. So if you did not know, we are the Wix Training Academy channel here on YouTube, and we are giving you all of the tips, tricks, and secrets to be able to build a profitable lead generating business building Wix website. So a lot of you who are watching this already have a Wix website, but some of you might be finding this particular video and maybe be looking for a platform to build on. So if you have not yet checked it out, we absolutely would recommend Wix for the platform as your all-in-one website platform and specifically for SEO. So if you are curious about that, you can go ahead, check out the series and some other videos videos on this channel as to why we think Wix might be great for you. All right, so this video in particular though, like I said, there are two SEO secrets that some gurus are teaching that are actually going to harm your SEO. Now this is part of the larger SEO series that we're doing here on the channel. If you're loving it, let us know down below what your thoughts are on the series so far. Without further ado, Tactic number one that is a really big issue is called keyword stuffing. And yes, I did use a picture of a dumpster with hot overflowing heaping garbage because that is exactly what the strategy is. So if you ever hear any guru or SEO person or article teaching this, absolutely run. So let me show you what keyword stuffing looks like, okay? So keyword stuffing is when you're essentially using keywords over and over and over to try to like trick and hack the algorithm. So you're, you're inserting these keywords over and over into the dialogue or the copy on your pages, but you're doing it in a way that doesn't necessarily flow or even technically makes sense. So you're putting the SEO algorithm technicality and strategy above the quality of the actual content. And a lot of people think that this is a good idea to do. And in fact, um, a few years ago, this was a strategy that you could kind of use a little bit more than now. But at the end of the day, nothing you can, you can go down, and that's why I said I'm not a super SEO expert, and I'm not claiming to be to, or know the most of SEO. But what I do know is that good marketing and knowing your core marketing and knowing what your ideal clients are looking for and knowing how to structure your page around that idea, that's going to win any day above the algorithm or above, above any of these things that are gonna change with SEO, okay? So this is another example of that. Now, a few years ago, if you were to do keyword stuffing, which looks like this, okay? So when you're keyword stuffing, you're going to say, we sell custom, um, I don't want to say that. Um, Here we go. Welcome to Red Apples Online. If red apples are what you're looking for, then you're in the right place to buy red apples. When it comes to red apples, you get the idea. So take red apples out, but insert some of these other keywords that you might be looking for. Now, keyword stuffing a few years ago before the algorithm got smarter, yes, it could technically help you rank higher in the short term. But in the long term, what would happen then is, let's say that you're ranking higher on Google and people come to your site because you've been keyword stuffing. If your website looks like this, people who go to your site are gonna go, huh, this isn't exactly flowing, and it's not speaking to me, which is the goal. So if you're speaking to the algorithm and you're not designing a site or talking or using words that are speaking to your ideal client, guess what they're gonna do? We talked about this in the other video, but they're gonna they're gonna bounce off of your site. And so if they bounce off of your site and people come there, What's going to happen over time is that your ranking is going to go lower because you're showing 
people over time that your site is not relevant to your target audience, they're not spending a lot of time on the site, and so while initially keyword stuffing might have gotten you up there in the short term, in the long term, it's actually going to tank your score. And in fact, this is a strategy that no longer works at all anymore, like at all. <laughs> um, the algorithm and the, you know, the little bots that crawl your site, they have gotten a lot smarter and they're able to pick up on and detect keyword stuffing and those types of people and site owners that are still using and employing this strategy are going to see a big decline and a negative impact overall. So that is number one. If you hear anyone talking about that, run the other way. The second thing, the second hack that people are or were, actually I found a couple videos where people were the secret SEO, no, no, no. See, the thing is, is there's no shortcut to success. You cannot cheat the system. You, you cannot have some hack or override good content core marketing and speaking to your customer. Nothing can overrule that. That, those things right there, that will outlast and outstand any algorithm change or anything like that. So you can't cheat the system, okay? So as far as this one goes, the second item is something called transparent text. And literally, it's where these gurus would teach you to go into your website on the home page, and they would tell you to do a strategy that looks like this, where you would say real estate consultant, um, real estate Atlanta, Georgia. If they were local, they would say like real estate agent, luxury real estate agent, all of these different things. So you would just go in here and type in like massive and massive, ma massive around amounts of keywords. And then what you do is you would then go and turn the transparency on to whatever the color was where you were attaching that text. So it would look like to the naked eye, there was no text here, okay? So that's what it would look like on a mobile, on a desktop, you would not be able to see that. But guess what? Google can, and again, this might have been a secret, <clears throat> pardon me, this might have been a secret hack that allowed you to temporarily get to the top of search results, and this might have worked a few years ago, but again, the bots and the crawlers and the algorithm and things like that are so much more smart than they used to be, and they're able to detect this, and again, this is going to negatively impact your rating. So if you hear a guru or someone teaching you to do this, number one, please stop immediately, and number two, run, because that's that person is not teaching you how to get long-term, sustainable, lasting success for your Wix website or your business. So here's what you should do instead. Number one, have a strong marketing and SEO strategy. Your SEO strategy is going to come out of understanding your core messaging and marketing for your brand, knowing who your target market is, what they're struggling with, and how your product, service, or offer can bridge that gap for them. Number two, if you're not already, please go ahead and be sure that you're utilizing the Wix SEO wizard in your dashboard. It makes it super, super simple for even the beginners here on Wix to be able to get ranked and start using some of the SEO tools. It's very simple when you go into the dashboard, if you type in SEO into the search bar or underneath of the marketing and SEO tab, just go ahead and click on SEO tools and you can get started. And last but not least, make sure that you check out the SEO series right here on this channel where we are delivering the first couple of videos are dedicated to developing the overall strategy for the SEO on your site. And all of the videos afterward here are dedicated to helping you with the SEO on your Wix website. Now, and please be sure to subscribe because not only do we have the SEO series, but this channel is full of amazing content tips and tutorials to be able to help you grow your site and also your business. So thanks so much for watching this. If you did find it helpful, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. And I'm curious, have you ever heard someone recommend these strategies? 
And also, what are you thinking of the series? Do you have any feedback or questions? We would love to hear from you down below. So thanks again. Make sure that you hit subscribe, the bell, and check back in next week where we will have more videos for you. Have an awesome rest of your day.